All right, chip of the day. Everybody loves chip of the day. Uh, to chip of the day is a 4N28. So you might know transistors start with 2N, like 2N3904, 2N2907, 2N2222A, but 4N devices are optocouplers, 4N. 4N28 is this optocoupler, very, very old one, and has a six pin dip, which is fun. Uh, there are only six pins instead of eight. You usually see eight pin little dips, right? This is a six pin. Um, and it's a typical optocoupler, has an LED and a photodiode. The cool thing about this particular uh, optocoupler is it brings out the base of the, um, of the actual device. So we could probably put that on a curve trace and take a look at it. I think we'll do that later. Um, so let's go ahead and hook one up. Um, so here's a circuit. And we have an LED and a, um, a 1K resistor. So pin four is tied to ground. Pin five goes to the LED and then a 1K resistor to plus, plus voltage, uh, plus 12. And um, so when this transistor is on, it will conduct to ground and it will turn on the LED. So let's do that. Let's uh, put a 1K resistor on the LED. So we'll turn on the LED and our little light comes on. Yay, a light comes on. And then when we take out the biasing of the LED, it turns off. So that's an optocoupler. But the cool thing about this is we have pin six, okay? So what if we uh, take our resistor and put it on pin six and tie it high? And guess what? The LED also comes on. So we can control, we control it directly with the base or we can control it indirectly with the with the uh, with the LED. So that's 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 pretty neat. Um, I'm not exactly sure why they bring out pin six. I, I was it for testing? Did did you know? Comment below if you've actually used the base in a circuit uh, uh, with this optocoupler device. Uh, it seems a it seems a little strange, but uh, I think we should. Uh, yeah, we should try this thing out. Let's see here. Let's, uh, let's remove power. I want to do a couple things. One is I want to uh, I want to bend these leads out. Let's see. Where's my pliers here? I'm going to bend these leads out, and I'm going to turn this into a package that looks like that. And then we will <laughs> put it in here. See if it says it's an NPN transistor. And sure enough, it has an HFE of 200, otherwise known as beta, um, 1.4 amps, VBE, 0.6. All right. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> like I said, uh, kind of strange. Uh, why would you, uh, why would you want to do that? Um, I don't know. Isolation tests up to 5,000 volts. Uh, nice to isolate things with. Let's see what the data sheet says. If the data sheet has a um, sample circuit, well, it's got a same sample circuit that I had. No, nothing to do with pin six, right? They, they, don't, they don't even draw it in here. Huh. I don't know. It's interesting. All right, here's the LED um, on the curve tracer. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 1.2 volts is about 12 milliamps. So that what's that's what the uh, that's what the LED looks like. Uh, about a 1.25 turn on voltage. All right, let's uh, see if we can hook up the uh, can hook up the. Uh... <clears throat> All right, I have the uh, NPN transistor hooked up now, and we're getting the uh, standard curves now. We could read things off here, but the way this is calibrated, it says 100, a beta of 100 per division. So we can just go one, two, and we see it's a beta of 200. Uh, so it's really easy to read, to read off of this thing. So yeah, it does, does act like a, uh, does act like a uh, transistor. Amazing. I wanted to show one of my test sockets. Uh, I've showed these on a different video where I make I make these test sockets. Um, I made this particular set test socket with a uh, 
uh, with a little proto board on it so I can do dips and stuff. And I have, I have three wires here, so it's easy for me to uh, test out products just like this one. So that's pretty cool. Okay, that was chip of the day. A two, I mean, two N, a four N, 28, four N, twice as good as a two N.